Sad news to report. Hall of Famer Merlin Olson died Wednesday night at the age of 69. Olson was diagnosed with mesothelioma in 2009 and had been undergoing several rounds of chemotherapy. The 14-time Pro Bowler was best known for being a member of the famed Los Angeles Rams' fearsome foursome. He was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1982. Following his playing career, Olson found success in the realms of broadcasting, acting, and as a spokesman. Now Steve Stable has more on the amazing life of Merlin Olson. Born in Logan, Utah in 1940, Merlin Olson grew up in the shadows of the majestic Wasatch Mountains. But his early attempts at athletics were anything but grand. I was a bust. I couldn't make a team. I couldn't, I couldn't get on a roster anywhere. And I'd go out for every team that, that they had in the school. And I couldn't, get on, I couldn't last past the first practice. And I finally was able to start playing. And I had all of this pent-up frustration. I mean, that gave me enough fuel to last for a long, long time. That fuel propelled Olsen to All-American honors at Utah State, where he was a first-round draft pick of the Los Angeles Rams in 1962. And left tackle from Utah State, number 74, Marlon Olsen. There, Olsen teamed with Deacon Jones, Lamar Lundy, and Rosie Greer to form pro football's most famous defensive line the fearsome foursome. And those guys were awesome. They really were. I mean, when you talk about that front four, Mike, probably the best front four that ever played football. At defensive tackle, Olsen was a dominant force, so much so that he was often double and triple teamed. The attention opened up opportunities for his teammates to make plays. It was a clear sacrifice of personal glory. He never quit. He never slowed down. He never gave you an inch. And those were his weak points. All I could say is, watch the films. <laughs> That's all I could say. Marilyn was excellent, never said anything, but persistently and consistently got the job done. Though he had the knack for making the big play, Merlin resisted dirty tactics used by some of his opponents. You never could rally him. You never could make him mad. Merlin was a nice guy, strong. He'd always try to beat his man the way the book said. You know, a couple of times I said, Merlin, let me have this turkey. You know, a guy be holding him or biting him or doing something crazy. And Merlin won't retaliate that way. There are things that I will do, things I won't do. I won't take a cheap shot. There is a level of satisfaction that you reach without having to put a violent shot on the quarterback. Olsen's reserved demeanor earned him the reputation as football's gentle giant and garnered him league-wide respect. Merlin was the classiest guy I ever played against and the most consistent. Uh, we never played the Rams that Merlin did not play well. In 15 seasons, Olsen was named to the Pro Bowl a record 14 consecutive times. In 1982, he received pro football's highest honor, induction into the Hall of Fame. Merlin Olsen! After football, Olsen pursued life with the same fervor he used to chase down opposing running backs. I don't think there's any rule that says because you played football, you can't go from that to being a, a doctor if you want, or an actor, or a broadcaster. On the Jets today, the Jets had hoped to establish that running game, get McNeil upfield, and then use the running game to throw some play-action passes. At the same time, I don't think that playing football means you're going to be good at those things. You've got to apply the same kind of energy, the same kind of enthusiasm, same kind of preparation. An accomplished actor, broadcaster, and pitchman, Olsen will best be remembered as one of the game's greatest players and its finest gentleman. The satisfaction that I drew from the game was from playing the game and from playing it very well. I had such a great career and I enjoyed playing the game so much that I really have very few regrets. Mesothelioma claiming the life of Merlin Olsen at the age of 69 on Wednesday evening.